One of the things that I hope to accomplish today in the ReStore is to show you not only what I buy, but the things that I don't buy and why. Whew, it's cold out here. We're heading out to Johnson City to go to the ReStore, see if we can find some things to resell on eBay. And it's a little bit cold out here. Let's see if I can show you the snow. I'll get turned around and uh, give you a little peek here. There it is. Not a whole lot compared to living in Ohio, but we have snow. But we're going to head out, hope it's not crowded, to find some things to resell, you know, on eBay. I've been doing that since 2004, so I've been around for a little while. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. You know if this video exists, if you're seeing it right now, I must have found something good to resell. We'll do a little shop and haul. We're here at the ReStore. Love this place, it's really large. It has a lot of inventory. So let's go check it out. After a good breakfast at Bob Evans, we're at the ReStore and I'm all excited. So let's go in and see what we can find. To sell or not to sell? That is the question. This is a little tapestry trinket box. Looks in pretty good condition. $2. What's that say? I see Japan. That makes that something to buy, to resell. A little trinket box. Has a little tapestry fabric inset into here in the heart shape. The uh, finish is in really good condition. What's that say on the bottom? First of all, paid $2 for it. Just came in on January 20th. It actually says Japan. I don't know if I'll find any comps for this. I'll take a look. I found a couple here. This one, they took an offer off of $17.99 with free ship. That looks pretty close to it. Okay, well, you know what? I'm still gonna try it at $24.95 with make offer and see what happens, see what we get. On the other hand, here's something. It's only 50 cents, so the price is right. It's a little tray, holds little photos. Looks new. Made in Taiwan. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. It's different. This is a, uh, it doesn't sit very flat. This is supposed to be a little dresser tray. So because it's not sitting flat, even though it's only 50 cents, this is a no. This, flawless, which isn't really flawless, is a Ray Dunn. They're asking $3 and it's going for about 16 to 18 on eBay plus shipping. This is a maybe. I'll put it in my cart as a maybe. This $2. Made in China. Looks like a little souvenir. And I think I'll pass. That's a no-go. This is unusual. A little key holder. This is ceramic. Ah, it's missing a peg. You see the middle peg there? It's missing. So that's a no. Here's the rooster. And it's actually made from wood. They went $3 for it. Only $9.99 originally. And I'm going to decide this is a no-go. If it was a set, two pieces for three, that would be fine. But I don't think that can bring a whole lot, so I'm going to put that back. This is heavy. This is cast metal, cast iron. It is $3. But I think it has potential. No branding on it. And yes, it's three, but it is cast metal. This is a maybe. I'll put it in my cart. I see a little bird. It's a cast iron bird. It's very heavy. I don't see a price on it. I think they charged me $2 for it at checkout. It's really, really cute. Just a little decoration. 
I don't know if I'll find any. I'll take a look. I don't know if it's dirty, so I'm kind of hesitant to put it down there. Let's put it on the paper. I'm gonna take a look on eBay, see if I can find out what they're going for. I'm so surprised I found one right away. See the base? You see the base of this one here and the base here? This one sold for $29.95 plus shipping. So yay, I didn't even look that up when I picked it out. But yeah, I really don't need to look any further. There's my comp. So I go into that and I say, see original listing. And there it is. There's my eBay sold comp. And I sort by highest to lowest. So yep, that was a great find for sure. This little box is laminated. No country on it. Nicely done, but I'm just not sure. It's one dollar. I see that, but there's nothing really exciting about it. Here's an ink cartridge, which I normally would pick up for two dollars. However, the date on it is 2004, so that's pushing it quite a bit. That may be dried up by now so it is sealed but because it's so old i'm going to pass here's a common collectible i guess you could say it's vintage it's this little house or this school the common school and i can tell you from experience look it's four dollars that these are not worth a whole lot <laughs> they're just mass produced and really not that well made so i stay away from that I really like this. It's metal, it's embossed, it looks like it's copper and other metals. It has an interesting design. They want $5 for it. It does look vintage. I cannot find a maker's mark anywhere on it. And I'm actually thinking how hard this would be to ship because it's quite wide. So for that reason, I think I'm going to put it back because of how hard it will be to find a box that width. Not impossible, but if it had a country and I knew where it came from, I'd probably buy it in a heartbeat and find the box. But today, I'm going to put it back. Cool though. We have a little basket and watering can. I would not buy this. Family dollar, even at 50 cents, that's a no-go, that's a no-buy. What's this guy? $2. This is resin. Nope, oh, I'm not going to do that either. In fact, it looks like it's missing a music box. What is this? Cameo, made in China. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We got lots of glass. That's, as I've said before, is my weakness. I really don't know my glass very well. Let's see what else we can find. What is this? Made in Taiwan. You know, I just don't think this style. If it was made in Japan, I might take a closer look. Taiwan, it could still be older, but it's kind of a romantic, colonial type style. I think we're gonna stay away from that. I used to buy these back about 10 years ago. I don't buy them anymore. They're probably worth about, I don't know, 10, 12 dollars maybe at the most. I stay away from these old resin 1970s figures or statues. I also stay away from things that say K's Collection. I don't know if you can see it. It says K's Collection. That is a Dollar Tree brand. Funny, it sold for a dollar. They went three for it now. I absolutely stay away from Dollar Tree items. K's Collection and Greenbrier. That's what you want to stay away from. This is something that caught my attention. First of all, it says Kodak on it, so it's branding. It's pewter. It's an anniversary plate. It's not too bad, it's $3, but I looked it up on eBay. Actually, there are none sold, and the ones listed are only listed for about 15, so that's a no-go. I have two brass planters here. This one is $3. This one is only a dollar. Which one would you buy? Well, first of all, this one is brass plated. It has a ton of corrosion on it. Do you see that? And let's see on the bottom. 
says originally $25. I'm not seeing the India market could be under the label, but the corrosion really turns me off. This one here, a very unique shape in comparison. And it's $3 and it has the Made in India label in excellent condition. So this is the one that's going in my cart. Brass is a little slower seller, but it does sell. This is my basket that I carry in occasionally. I showed you in the store a comparison of two brass pieces. This one is $3. They haven't had it very long, January 14th. It has its Made in India sticker, which is where most brass is made. And I've done fairly well with brass bases and urns. So I'm going to look this up, but just top of my head, I'm pretty certain I'm going to put it at $24.95. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I just dumped stuff. Uh, maybe I need to dump that outside. Hope that's not somebody's ashes. Oh my gosh. I think we're safe. Looked like dirt. Took it outside, dumped it out, rinsed it out. Needs another rinse, but pay $3 for it. So, yep, let's go to eBay. I haven't found the exact same shape yet, but I wanted to tell you that I did see in the solds here, my listing, this one here. I sold this really tall one that I bought at a garage sale for $5.00. Took an offer on it. I believe I sold it for 40 plus shipping. It was 14 inches tall. This one is about eight and a half. I just checked that. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. This one was six and a quarter, sold for 10 plus shipping. Brass is something that you can't hardly ever find the exact same shape for it. That's 15 inches, sold for $22.99. I know you're probably tired of hearing this, but I'm going to go with my usual $24.95 with make offer and see what I can get. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so we have a piece here that says Murano. So it's officially Murano glass out of Murano, Italy. It is almost look like a lampshade, but it has this base with uh, metal painted fruit. What's it say on the bottom? That's interesting that it doesn't have Italy marked here again. Now they do want $20 for it. And this would be extremely hard to ship because of the diameter. It's been here since yeah, August. It's been here a while. Let me just look it up just for the heck of it and see what we find out. It's huge. Trying to pass on it. It's $20. be very hard to ship and I can't find any comps. Um, if it was less expensive, I might consider it, but I'm trying to pass. Wow, this is really cool. What is it, Hannah? Hoosier? It's a, it's a Hoosier cabinet. Hoosier cabinet. With a flower room. You said that opens? There's for your flower. I can't even imagine keeping my flower open that like that and, and exposed. And oh my gosh. Sister. That is so cool. Everything seems to work. A cabinet above. And it's what, $325? That was a little tight. I guess. Oh, it's pretty good. There's a shelf in here still. This is really cool. Probably the original handles, but I think they painted them. I bet they were chrome before. 325, it could be yours. Just come to the restore in Johnson City, Tennessee. And there is their vintage section over there. The collectible section. That they say is half the price of eBay. So this immediately looked like Italy to me. It's only two dollars. It has a little cover and decorated. Honestly, it doesn't look like it says Italy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. You know, there's some other things in here. What's this? This little dish. Paid two dollars for it. Where do you think it was made? It's actually not a dish. It's a cup with a lid. Keep the lid keeps your uh, drink hot. What's it say here? Decorato a mano. Hmm. Looks like it's pretty old. Look at the bottom of that. At least it needs washed for sure. Yeah, let's check this out, see what we can find. Again, I'm not going to put that on my nice cloth. I'm going to set it over here. I can't find any active listings, but I have to tell you, since that sold and that sold, if I just take half that price, or half that price, which one should I take? They're both good. They both uh, say they're cups. This is completely different. I just found a chip. You know, no matter how hard I try, I miss things. I don't think it's going to be a major issue. It's not going to help but I think it just dropped the price down a little bit. All right, so I guess because I have a lid, I'll still try it at $24.95 with make offer and see what happens. That's my go-to price when I don't know for sure. 
If this was a whole set of little spice houses, it could be worth about $250. These are, I think we have 12 here. Uh, Lennox, what do we have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. There's 13 here, there should be 24. I checked them individually to see if there's any value. They go for about $12.99 individually. The thing is, they were $5 each. So there's just not enough profit in it. But for the most part, I stay away from all of these clear glass vases, unless I'm looking for a jewelry jar, you know, such as this or something. But you know, I stay away from glass. It's also very hard to photograph. This looks interesting. It's five dollars, but this is why I'm going to stay away from it. It's a craft project, ceramic project, 1978 with initials. So I do tend to stay away from these handcrafted projects. This says vinegar. It's two dollars. It is made in Italy. I wish I could find it's mate, which probably would be an oil bottle. It's still, just looks in pretty good condition. This is a definite maybe. I'll put it in my cart. This is a little vinegar jar. It's the only part I have. It's always nice if you can get the vinegar and the oil, but I still decided to pick it up, pay $2 for it, and it's made in Italy. So let me show you what I found out, what it's going for on eBay. I can't find one with the exact same pattern and I do think it really has nice coloring. I found this one here, sold for $18.39 with free shipping, but otherwise I'm really not finding anything exactly like it. And that's okay. This might just be a replacement piece for someone who has the other, the oil, which is very common, the olive oil. I think I'm going to put it at $24.95 with make offer. You know, I think it'll sell probably between 15 and 20. That's my guess. Sometimes you just don't find an exact comp. Got a little brown pottery bowl here, very plain, but it does have the Hager USA. So, for $3, I think I'll take a chance on that. Always looking for USA or vintage Japan or other countries. But after a while, you kind yeah. of get used to what to look for. Need what? Brown bowl. A plain brown bowl. Why did I buy this? Because it's a Hager made in USA. $3. Hager, H A E G E R, made in USA. It's just a little, I believe, a planter bowl. Let's do a little research, see what we can find out. It is rather plain and I can't find the exact same shape. By the way, it does have crazing. If you see the little lines in here, that's pretty normal. There's um, all different styles here on the vintage Hager planter bowls. I'm thinking it's probably about a uh, 15 to $20 bowl because it's not very fancy. I think I'll put it at 19.95 with make offer and Caught my attention. This squirrel it does have a little wear. It's a uh, nut bowl. It's missing its nutcracker and tools. But it's a dollar. It says Multi Products USA. And you know what? I've never seen one of these before. So sometimes when I haven't seen something before, that's a good enough reason <laughs> because I know it's vintage to uh, get it. Yeah, let's get that. Take that squirrel home. Oh, this is. What about this squirrel uh, nutcracker dish? It's just plastic. It does have some wear there. I paid a dollar. I just thought it was so stinking cute. I haven't seen anything like it. It's uh, plastic. What's it tell us here? 
It says multi products made in USA. It's definitely vintage. I'm going to try to add some tools to it, the nutcracker and a couple of, of the uh, nut tools. And I'm going to put this at $24.95 with make offer. I will check eBay here. I don't think I'll find one like it. I found one where they took an offer, sold on 12 one They took an offer off of $24.99, buyer paid shipping. And I found a couple in active listings too. So I am going to go ahead with my $24.95 price point. Yeah, it's cute as can be, isn't it? This store is huge. It's amazing how much stuff there is here to look at. There's the lighting pictures over there. And all the lamps over here. And more glasses and dishware. Love it. All right, so here, here is something different. You can definitely tell just by looking at it that it's an older model. It's General Electric, two-way power. Yes, it has scratches on it. Radio with the original case, it's $3. There's a cord here. Taking this home. Oh, I got this Scotty Dog cookie cutter, 50 cents. I'll probably put it in with some other cookie cutters, so I'm not sure what that's worth by itself. I have an old radio. This is a General Electric radio in case. It's got some wear, some scratches. Paid $3 for it. I was kind of excited when I found it because I have sold old radios before. To research this, I'm actually just looking for it by style. I haven't taken the case off, so I don't know the model number. I have a handle at the top. I have this case, this brown case all around it. See that little red knob on the right side? I'm just looking for it visually right now in sold comps on eBay. So let's see what we can find. Oh, there's one here. They took an offer off of 29 plus buyer paid shipping. Some might look similar. Some of the photos aren't real good. That might be one there, 2050. But I think I found another one here. Oh, somebody gave it away at $7.99. Nope, not me. I'm not gonna do that. Here's one that looks like it. Sold for 30, free ship. And let's see, oh, how about this one here? That looks really like it, doesn't it? Right here, doesn't that look like the same? Sold for $30 plus shipping on eBay. Sold November 17th. So this, and if you ever wanna do this, just go to the original listing, see original listing. So that's my comp, $30. I'll probably put it at $29.95 plus shipping. What do we have here? A keyboard, Microsoft. Uh, can you help me with this, please? Looks like it's possibly new sealed. Five dollars. Yeah, let's check this out. Hey, what was it you said that are old school? These are old school, right? That's old school. Don't want to get those. Stay away from those. And the best find at the um, Johnson City Restore is this natural ergonomic 4000 Microsoft keyboard. The best find of the day. Paid $9. It is new, sealed in box. I have never sold one before. I've known to be on the lookout for various uh, keyboards. The model number is here at the bottom. Do you see it here? Model 1048. I've looked it up. Let me show you what they're going for. I think you're going to be very surprised, just like I was. I'm so excited about this. This model, now this is a red box, but that's okay. It's, it's the same model number. This one sold for $170 plus shipping. This sold for $149 plus shipping. And those boxes probably are about the same, not sure. 168, there's one with the packaging like mine, sold for 149.99 free ship. Another one, 149 free ship. So yes, these are selling for a lot of money. These are all sold, so here's one for 134 going back away. I'm going to go by the most current comp. Probably gonna put ours at about 169.95 plus shipping. Yep, best find of the day, I'm sure. It'll prove out to be worth the $9 that we spent. You never know what you're going to find at the ReStore.
I'd say we found a few things. Not a lot compared to our last time here, but we did find a winner. Let's get that in the car. <laughs> Let's run with that one. Exciting. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to receive notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.